and finally uh, we complete our today's presentation well history of laboratory of contemporary art uh, from Rostov and Don called Turnichki and the story will be delivered by Nelia Sano and unexpectedly three guests Alexey Farmov, Alexey Yeroshenko and Alexander Silvanov. This laboratory called Turnishki, pretty weird name, which came out from not the most successful plexus, but actually which gave us the idea. So for a time being, we were open to all people from the street, and once we had a guy who was hanging around all the time and uh, sometimes vandalizing of you know of some art we had exhibited there. So he was a drug addict, you know, and so he decided for a treatment that was his choice. He'll, he'll engage in art, and while presenting his uh, objects at the exhibition of memorials or monuments, he said that uh, uh, basically art is just key for the for soul you know and then we came to conclusion that the laboratory is less about art but more is a form of uh, self uh, kind of training uh, yourself as an artist uh, just uh, sorting out your personal uh, vision and search for your own uh, practice. Well, it should be said that uh, Rostov and Don is a wonderful place. We have creative clusters, we have galleries. Well, we have a museum of fine art, but everything is a little bit limp, I would say. But we One thing we are missing is uh, um, uh, uh, so so, and then I had this, you know, desire representing Gallery Cito and my colleagues as well to get to know all artists from our town to introduce them to each other and then we decided uh, to arrange a laboratory on the basis of our center Makarenko and why we have Gallery of Modern Art, a wonderful project, uh, who were arranging pretty, you know, cool uh, pop art exhibitions with such uh, well-known name as Taro Lucas and then they started supporting Rostov artists like art group Cito and Alexei Hamov and others, well, they were delivered and given some, you know, uh, studios. Firstly, well, the conditions were quite stiff, uh, but there were certain restrictions concerning, uh, well, time spending there, so they had to work there, not just to hang out, but still we decided uh, ready to hang out, but sometimes we've been working as well, side comment. But first we decided just to get to know each other, so that was done in the form of micro-exhibitions in this horrible you know, condition of exhibition, and also we have terrible quality of photography, because usually we don't care much. Everything is horrible, you know, that's another side comment. Well, everything is horrible, you know, conditions, photography. And back in 2013 we had our first meeting, and at that time we even didn't have a name, a title, so the first meeting was attended by, uh, yes, back in 2013, in March, we had the first meeting. It was a personal, uh, personal project of Daniel Epifanov, 
whom we got to know at another project, creativespace.com. Well, it's a creative cluster where I took direct participation in its uh, launch and I also had gorgeous, wonderful conditions for, you know, playing around and having a good time because I had stable, you know, permanent, you know, wage of 13,000 rubles. And uh, so exhibitions were usually of different uh, character, different profiles. Sometimes they were uh, of my works, but sometimes of Alexander Ham or Alexander Silifadov. But the guys had done everything independently in their uh, one-man shows. And uh, prior to that, they participated in a more important project, more important for the city. It's the uh, Varta Gallery, more important than Creative Space. Uh, no, not Varta, Varta, uh, Cotton, Varta, well, uh, well designed by Alexander uh, Dorfer and Vlad uh, Alexeyevich, his wife. I think that we can uh, speak about this project together. That was quite an interesting place and a lot of probably uh, had created most of this project. Simply well the building that they bought and at the uh, zero level or ground level they decided to arrange this gallery. So the first exhibition was by Sergei Sapochnik. Uh, my granny uh, pictures the best. So there was a conflict, there was a little skirmish, a fight. <laughs> the artist decided to do a little mugging. And uh, Sergei Sapochnik, well, the matter is because Sergei Sapochnik exhibited you know, pictures, photos of his babushka and also Rostov, kind of glossy photographers who positioned themselves as artistic photographers. And that was followed by approximately the same thing. Well, my granny is doing the best. And one of the photographers, Mikhail Marshall, who got to this display, to the show, and uh, really got his work in there, uh, deprived and insulted, you know, a bunch. And he decided, well, to revenge. So the, that all started with a little uh, skirmish, ending up with some, you know, serious mugging. But that really, you know, uh, spread big news around town in the stuff and then even in the country so you simply could you know link up to the group of friends then exhibit your works and that was a great opportunity great situation uh, otherwise you didn't have to tell lots of stories uh, well so the artists learned about this place and they started sending their applications requests for organizing their exhibitions in the space. So one of these projects of Varta, that was the debut of Alexei Hamov, well, it was called Yama, Yama. Uh, Throft. So, okay, we're the, as I know, Lada was not intervening too much. Lada, Alexei, you know, he was given full liberty to the artists. Uh, for working in her space. They were uh, arranging extremely pleasant, you know, friendly atmosphere. Well, every exhibition included just buffet party, which is quite a rare thing in Rostov. I'm a person who really killed the idea because fourchette or buffet party in Rostov means a lot of drinking and I hate drunks, but they really cope with me because I am allowed to all the institutions and all the important places. So the next exhibition, which is worth mentioning, mentioning uh, Alexander Silivan's exhibition, well, Fields of Color, also his debut exhibition, and he'll tell his story about it in a more detailed way. So, speaking about the searching, for the form. It took me about two years, no matter how simple it looks. And it was 
very important for me because this was uh, the first um, exhibition of mine. I was working on it for two years and I was looking for a story to tell. So that's all I can say because uh, it's been a few years since then. Yeah, it was five years ago. So, now of course, uh, there are new forms now. I work with different things. Uh, and uh, it uh, made its uh, uh, way to the history. I have an, uh, an angry joke that uh, it actually, this project uh, buried uh, the gallery. So what is it all about? Can you tell me? Because nobody could understand it. I'm not going to tell you now. Let it uh, be a secret. So we are the artists that um, began to do contemporary art uh, around 2008. Why it was uh, then? Because we didn't have a problem that uh, the generation um, that um, was living during perestroika time. They were trying to do some magic things. Uh, we never really uh, faced any uh, subculture goals uh, that, for example, uh, um, um, uh, the gen that uh, the generation of uh, 2000s uh, uh, faced, like Albert Sapozhnikov and many others. We have a different problem, it's related to the internet and all those things that we heard about contemporary art. I was uh, working in the gallery since, uh, since the year 2000 and uh, so I was uh, having a lot of uh, free time, uh, I was uh, reading all the publications about contemporary art. I was um, uh, listening to the lecture stolen from my psi. I uh, uh, was listening to things uh, about published uh, by Voronish Center for Contemporary Art. Now I understand that they were just like us, they were not that serious. And I uh, was inspired by this experience. So, but it was a form of isolation from the city and art community because nobody uh, visited exhibition. So I was uh, thirsty for communication and uh, uh, this uh, project of creative space was also a space of uh, great fun and isolation. So I could do whatever I wanted to do and I carried out a number of larger projects. Later on we decided to work together. Alexei came um, from the army, uh, Dima um, did uh, some street art, uh, then uh, 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 Sasha had uh, to uh, be there of our meeting of art laboratory just because his studio was very uh, close uh, to us so he sort of had to uh, to uh, join our society and he still uh, uh, speaks radically about our project but uh, I can say that whenever we have some uh, conflicts and collisions, it helps us to identify, identify your personal position, your views, uh, um, uh, to understand whether you should do some stupid things or not. So uh, in our laboratory, we decided that it's worth it during the first year at least. And we uh, organized personal exhibitions throughout the first year. We uh, invited and let uh, only artists in and we mm, uh, uh, got together in a cold space. Uh, and uh, discuss different things, for example, art as uh, um, therapy, and uh, I had a personal exhibition, and uh, it was uh, very, it was related to um, 
women in art. Uh, we considered, uh, uh, for example, Daniel Yepifanov's exhibition, some other radical uh, cases. We criticized Alexei Yeroshenko's first exhibition that took place in our space. So he came from the army and uh, uh, he studied uh, the art and graphic department. Uh, we actually all have academic art education. Then we got the support from the art center Makaronka uh, that uh, had different studios and workshops, so they let us uh, uh, bring, uh, get engaged uh, with a wider audience and uh, we had lots of events uh, and uh, for, it's a big deal for us all, so even though uh, we are not eager um, to talk to each other, but uh, from time to time we have this need to talk about art and uh, uh, well to discuss different things. So the main actors of the laboratory uh, are shown in this photo. So myself, Alexei Hramov. Are Art band uh, Sito Daniel Yepifanov, who is a co curator of this project. Actually, I'm uh, uh, working as a curator rather than the artist uh, because uh, I'm a bit too lazy for an artist and uh, I have uh, good organizational skills uh, and I have enough time to think about what's happening. So I do better as a curator because I also analyze what my friends uh, produce. And so I usually curate exhibitions. Uh, I uh, also was uh, studying uh, in Moscow, so I have good education. Why I came back to Rostov is because I understood that you don't have to work. Um, in Rostov you can um, make your living much easier because in Moscow it's much more difficult and uh, um, contemporary curators and artists are living in um, a more difficult situation and uh, uh, actually I tried to work at Vinzavod here in Moscow but uh, they uh, didn't really uh, take me as a staff member. They didn't know how many exhibitions I created. So I decided to go back to Rostov and uh, uh, I um, uh, wanted to have this live communication with artists to do some practical works. And um, you can see some other participants of our projects, Masha Bagaras, Vanya Miroshnichenko, Alexander Selivanov. And this picture was uh, uh, taken at the very first public uh, exhibition that took place in Krasnodar uh, Center for Contemporary Art KC and it was uh, uh, you know it had uh, the title um, uh, Faggots uh, uh, Blood and Not Water uh, 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 Alexander did like uh, um, uh, the um, title uh, I just wanted uh, to leave just one word, ublutki, like uh, uh, scoundrels. Uh, but uh, uh, actually it came out of Straganyan's club because it was a virtual space uh, for different artists to communicate uh, from different countries, uh, or, uh, from CIS. So I showed them uh, what Rostov artists were doing and he said, oh, it's an awful thing. And I, and I asked uh, myself, oh, what are you uh, talking about uh, if we are not, uh, if we are not uh, Teraganyan's uh, children, then um, what? Not many people wanted to admit that they uh, were not real children of him. And I wrote, wrote a manifesto and I said that all the artists in the uh, history of art are our fathers, but Sasha Selivanov said that the only uh, father uh, was he. Well,
uh, well, I can't say that these uh, people were all fathers. I just don't think uh, that uh, uh, some of these uh, can be called uh, my fathers. So this exhibition about bastards uh, was quite good, but we didn't really like it ourselves. So Krasnodar's, uh, in Krasnodar, people liked it, but we didn't like working in white uh, spaces. We were tired of white spaces. But it's not so that all participants worked in those white spaces. Who do you mean? Um, Sito art uh, group, because uh, it was a street art project. Yes, it's true, but it's not a group uh, art practice. So, we actually don't have uh, uh, any agreements. Uh, uh, we always get together and have disputes uh, uh, and argue with each other. Sometimes we think that maybe we shouldn't uh, uh, talk at all. So, the, it's very emotional. And another um, interesting project that uh, we had was related to uh, women's art. We don't like feminism, uh, but it's Rostov. Uh, we are very close to the Caucasus. We are sort of gates to Caucasus. And we decided to, uh, alter, to uh, do an alter ego of of, uh, women's art. Uh, Sasha Sullivanov thinks that there's no such thing as women's art. Uh, there is like art therapy, so we deny and reject feminism. I, I don't uh, uh, reject it. Uh, but uh, what about feminist art? Well, Sasha thinks that uh, th there's art and uh, that's it. It's common. I'm interested in Agnes Martin's art and I think that she is one of the strongest artists in the last 100 years. She can be compared with Rotko and Malevich. Okay, thank you. You know, Lei Li did an exhibition and uh, then we began to wonder where we should divide between uh, uh, women's art and other art. So, and so based on that dialogue we wanted to um, uh, create another exhibition to see uh, what would men do if they were women. So um, uh, we can say that art can be divided into art and non-art and not whether it's um, created by men or women. And there was a, uh, a tribute to Petrelli's art and uh, we had uh, people, <coughs> we had serious artists coming to us and uh, uh, said that this was a disgrace so we wanted to focus more on the quality. Now. This is the, the uh, latest project of us, uh, Outlandida uh, exhibition. So we wanted uh, to uh, work together with each other, not to um, uh, invite pe people from outside. Uh, so it was artists' uh, uh, space, uh, and especially that we go through different times, lots of tensions and conflicts. Uh, artists that used to be part of laboratory now make us ask a lot of questions. So thank you.